Right, here is a quick guide for drop downs. So, on each map, every map has a drop down like this, and while these are really good against characters like Bell, it is not good against ranged characters like Prisoner and Nim. Because if you fall down, they will likely grab you and hit you if you do use this. Okay, so against ranged characters, you shouldn't be using these loops where possible. So, specters like both Nim and prisoner your best bet is to drop the rattan use sigils which we know comes up plenty of time if you use the items correctly or use holy water so if you ever need to use drop downs you obviously know not to use these obviously this one so this is the area in the middle this side okay this is not a good drop down so let's have a look why it's not good down the reason is if you actually walk carefully around here there is an invisible wall here. You can't. You can't really see it, but I'm actually pressing W. But you can't move any 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 more than this, which means it actually prevents you from jumping down. So if you ever drop down this way, no matter how you jump down, you end up here, which is in line of view for a spectre. So they will hit you. The only way to really not get hit is if you fall down there. But since the invisible wall is put up here, you actually can't do that. There's an actual invisible one on this side as well, so you can't actually drop there either. Uh, Alright, let me just show you that quickly. So this is the invisible wall. Again, you can't really go anywhere forward. So that's why this drop is not much of a use. But then again, you have an entire section here, which hides on your LOS. Locker, wall, door, on the door, on the hole, on the locker. That. And then under the door, under the hole. Seriously, there's tons of things you can use to waste your top waste spectre's time here. The game should be in a. The game is done in such a way that you, if you were to finish the game, without getting a single hit by a spectre and all rituals are done. How is that a balanced game? Oh well, uh, technically speaking, I guess you can do that against Bell, but hey oh, yeah, that's balanced state of game. Stop complaining. Seriously. Right, on this side, on the other hand, here, you can actually jump down here. There's no invisible wall on this side. Although you can do this. And you can actually end up, you know, if you so, if you fall normally down this way, you'll end up there. Exactly on that point. But if you do it, if you do it correctly, you'll end up a bit further down that way. That difference is huge. So if I le leave it on here and bring my spectre down. See? Spectre can see you. And he can hit you from here. Well, should be able to. Come on, hitbox. Oh my god, fucking hitbox. <laughs> oh my god, fucking hitbox. But well, you get the point. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to be able to hit. Okay? So if you ever complain about nymphing too strong. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, if you were to land properly and land up where I pointed here, this section, while it can be seen by a spectre, there's no way to hit that at all. Don't fall on this side ever. Don't ever fall on this side or anywhere here. This is all dead zone. If you ever go there. This side on the other hand? Nope, can't do it. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you a reliable way to drop down from there down to here because while I can do it, it's not very reliable. So another way of doing this is using items. So characters like Prisoner can't use attacks when they get hit. Especially Holy Water, they can't use hook for, I think it was about two seconds. It doesn't prevent Nymph at all. But it does prevent them from using phasing, so they can't use invis invisibility to chase you down. So there is that. But here, realistically speaking, you shouldn't be using that. Realistically, you're using this, which has insanely fast time on Spectre's point of view. Just doing that can waste so much time because 
you know, why in the animation that sound comes out a lot longer so that sound you can actually time it in a what such a way that I can do this so that there's not much ping difference because I'm actually playing this on a one computer but it is reliably fast enough that I can react to it and not get hit obviously another one to use is lockers so again if you have to try somebody if you're tr if you're trying to hit somebody that's here the attack animation is so long that I am able to alt tap between the screens and actually dodge the hit so if you're telling me that you can't react to the sound then you're probably not playing on the right server because if you have, or if you have about 200 pings or higher then yeah it is it is harder to do so but there is a significant delay to them attacking we try to use I if they if she was trying to destroy this open it if she has and every time she attacks like that there is a cooldown for her attack until the ball appears see in during which time she cannot destroy those see amount of time it takes for that destroy to come up it's actually quite long long enough that you can do this in swamp in general nymph spawns in the bottom of the swamp survivor spawn on the top you should have enough time to be able to open every single door Two people on that this side, two people on that side, that's why you normally spawn. You should be able to open every single door without a problem. Don't ever use the pot. Because every time you use a pot, it is a free hit because you come out there and you get hit. That also is a free hit over there. But you, these this tree, I don't think it actually blocks anything. Because everything just goes through. So this is actually a lie. Another lie that exists in the game. Same applies on this side as well. If person goes out that way, you can hit freely and then opposite way exactly the same as well okay this time we're in the graveyard okay graveyard is it is spectre side of the map this map is definitely spectre side of the map however it is not impossible to wait your goal in here as a survivor is to buy as much time as possible you will die okay no matter how good you are against the nymph you will die but it is about wasting as much time as possible as a survivor that is the sole goal as i said before in the swamp you are expected to die you cannot expect to not die and complain that specters are too strong because that just is a wrong design in that case specters are meant to kill survivors and survivors are meant to do rituals while buying time the problem is how quickly you die but let's see so this is most common loop dropping down here and going up here dropping down here coming up here anybody like bell bell's bell has hard time with this especially with somebody like pay and jay and tim who has enough stamina to keep doing this as much as they want however nymph on the other hand is a bit different now common loop is because you just jump up here you'll just drop down this way but if you drop down you end up there and which means nymph can attack let me show you that see that's where you drop and then people will just come up come and hit you unlike the swamp there is not exactly a lot of doors or cabinets in this map in general that you can buy time with however there are places that you can loop while, while buying time so here is a, f a common place where you can loop so nymph has a very very hard time traveling this round object all together and able to hit so you need to have this angle to hit but specters movement so nymphs movement in general is slower than survivors so survivor can literally just walk around this and waste a lot of time if you can't do that here's another place this area again you can waste so much time because while nymph can see you just like this she can see you and she will build blood lust blood seek off you but she's so slow this is this is how fast she is at maximum blood seek 
This is a maximum blood suit. Let me put it this way. This is survivor charging stamina. This is him running. <laughs> right? You can literally loop around this until your stamina runs out. And then there's on top a cabinet here too. Not only that, this stairs area is also a very strong loop. Again, it's a very short loop. But there is only a couple of places where Nymph can actually attack. So the this tree here is actually no go zone. You, you can't actually do anything much here. This is very narrow. There's an invisible wall here. And that's the only part you can hit. Same here. You have to aim a bit higher to actually go through. But if you aim higher, crouch. Crouch. Let me just show you that as a, what it is. Uh. See what I mean? However, you can shoot through this. As you can see that. So you can shoot through here. But just like this area here, it is a very, very, very narrow window. So again, running around this a this side of the map, you can waste so much time. This obviously it's the same applies to this side because it's exactly clone of that side as well anyway. So you can waste a lot of time on, on that. Again, drop down wise. Another drop down here, which is commonly, you come up here, drop down, and then you go run straight away, or you try to use this area here. So let's just say, Spectre's chasing, from this way, this angle, right? Don't drop straight. Because if you do, you'll get hit. Nympha attack is slow, that if you, if you don't fall down exactly where she's looking at, right? You dodge her attack and you go towards her. And only way to get the angle is to move away from it to get that. And you can buy enough time to be able to. After, she's got delay after each of her attacks. And then Nymph has to walk all the way across again. Come down here to be able to attack. Again, this loop here works exactly the same as above. She cannot chase you. She can do this. She can do this to see through if you're looping on that way or not. But she can't hit you. So again, this is an area where you can waste a ton of time just doing this. You're literally just walking around here. And if these doors are not open in the beginning of the map, that is partially, partially, not all 100% partially survival fault because you should be able to open at least a couple of doors on this map okay another place of you can loop here in this map against any range character is this side simple enough two doors three cabinets and you just able to hog this part why is this part so annoying well, let's bring Nymph down here. This part essentially works exactly like the other loops. There is no way for Nymph to hit unless you have a clean line of sight. So here, this part, and this part. These are the only places with a clean line of sight. But again, the doors exist. What did I say about doors? You can use it to waste a lot of time. If that doesn't work, worst case scenario, again, you can use this one, but this is not as safe because hold all of this area is actually kinda long. And you can have to hit survivors quite easily here. Oh my god. God damn it. Yeah, you can survivors hit survivors quite easily here, but it is there to waste a bit more time. Again, this area here, you can waste a bit more time. All these circular loops are simply designed to waste time. You can't do this against Bell, but against Bell you have a drop down. Against Prisoner and Nymph, you have circular. Use different loops for different spectre. Simple as that. Okay, so now we're in the hospital. Hospital's got four drop points. Here, here, and the opposite side where there's two more. But just by the elevator actually. Or lift, whatever you call it in your country. So, 
How do these work in here? Well, it works exactly the same way as uh, the graveyard. You can fall straight down. And you can literally fall straight down and get hit. Or does the hit, then go in. Does the hit, then go in is pretty much, a pretty much the theme here. This is where you go. You come up the lift or elevator, whatever you call it. Expect it's coming from that way or whatever. And you can come here and drop here. Insanely strong loop, especially if you go against Bell. But against Nymph and Prisoner, yeah, not so much. But against Nymph and Prisoner, you just go here, use that hole, uh, waste by some time. Or you can drop down. If you ever drop down, here's the thing: you don't drop down from, you don't drop down straight. Although that's kind of like an obvious thing to do. It looks like an obvious thing to do, but you don't. Let me just bring the spectre, spectre here very quickly. Now, the thing with Spectre is they can't go forward from any more than this area here. Say on this side, you, they can't go any forward from this. This is the maximum range of vision they have. What does that mean? Well, that means you can go from here, which is maximum area you can go, and drop down this way. Now, from the Spectre side of view, they can't see it at all. See? That's the only way they can see. You can see the head just about if you push your vision that way or you can see it that way now funny thing is you can't see them but you can hit them it's very hard to do so but you can see that you can't even see what where they are but you can hit them but you can't see them so more specters most nymphs don't even bother trying this way but there is something for you that you may have not known this hole as I explained on graveyard already, you do not fall down straight. You does the hit, go forward, wherever the spectre is. So this way. So before you, before we even talk about drop downs on this side, let's look at the map again. What does this remind you of? Exactly the same as the graveyard, the circular loop. Same here, circular loop. Circular loops are great for them. So let me just do that. No, nope, you can't hit them and clearly, you can't hit them clearly. <laughs> so, this here, this loop is... You can hide behind him here. If Spectre comes... If Spectre shoots, he will not hit. You, you just cannot hit. Like, seriously, what the fuck is this? You just... You can see them, you have to be very, very close. And to hit them. But if you're very close, you should be running away anyway. So, why would you, why would you be here? Right? You have one locker here. One door, you have another door here, and you have another locker here, and then you have a vent on top. And I drop down. Much like a graveyard, you can simply run around this area until your stamina runs out, or you can run around this area. This is not as good as the other side, but it is obstacle around that you will have to go. You have to go around as a as an nymph. So it is. It's, there's not really much you can do against this part really, as a nymph. The nymph will just have to go around and hit. And if you come down to downstairs area, you have exactly the same loop through this building here. You actually want this uh, hole. It doesn't even matter if this hole is destroyed or not, because if you're sitting down in the hole, nymph can't hit you anyway. Due to how the hitbox is, it just doesn't hit you. It's really hard for nymph players to actually hit you here. And ever. It doesn't work. And if they decide to run around here, you can literally run around here forever. You can literally run around here forever without getting any angles for hits. Let Nim come here. Destroy this first. Okay. So if Nimp is standing here, you have a full vision of her coming or going. You have a full vision of her coming or going. And every corner exists here. It is simply one of the most annoying loop you can get on this this map against them. Or prisoner for that matter. And then there's two lockers on top. And there's another one of those here. And a locker. And a vent. And if you use that vent, you end up with how many lockers here? Two. One. Two. And then there's this. Now you can get hit here. If you don't if you don't crouch, you can actually get hit here as well. But again, it's another loop that you can use to 
by time. And this is all without using scissors or anything else. Seriously. In hospital, it is ridiculously survivor sided. If you ever use lift, you got a locker here, you go upstairs, then there's another locker in front of you. You end up here again, another round area, another round area with two lockers. Like, what more do you want from here, people? <laughs> like, seriously. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I upload videos on a regular basis. If you got any suggestions or anything you have in mind, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.